hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in this video you will learn how to create a beautiful interface and develop a speech to text application using gradio a framework developed by hugging face and open ai uh, whisper api so let's get started uh, before we move forward this is going to be live tutorial so since uh, last couple of videos i have started this fashion to you know code everything live i uh, i haven't written any code so this can be you know a buggy session as well so let's get started the first thing i'll do is that i'll create my virtual environment and i'll name it venv and uh, let me create a dot git ignore file uh, first thing venv then dot env and then pi cache okay let me save this uh, i'll create a dot env file where i'll have open ai underscore api underscore key and this will be my open ai api key uh, let me activate my virtual environment and yeah uh, first thing i'll install open ai and then gradio uh, and then python hyphen dot env to read the environment files uh, meanwhile yeah, so let me save this i'll update the key uh, next uh, i'll create three files run dot py uh, this will be our entry point then uh, utils.py uh, here i'll write open ai function and then uh, gradio underscore underscore ui dot pi uh, here i'll write my gradio ui so yeah i think the dependencies are being installed uh, let's start with the gradio ui so uh, since we want uh, uh, an interface where user can upload or record, uh, let's say upload uh, audio file and then we provide the uh, output as a text. So for that we are going to use this audio. So Gradio Audio, uh, you can use source which is upload or microphone. Uh, type so we'll take file path and label okay uh, and we are going to build this uh, gradio interface so yeah uh, things are installed uh, let me upgrade prep as well and i'll say import uh, gradio as uh, gr and then i'll create a variable demo which will be close to uh, gradio interface and demo is not a variable but it is object of this interface class uh, this interface will take three things function then inputs so my input will be gr dot com components dot uh, dot audio okay audio and uh, for simplicity def uh, let's say demo underscore fun will take a file path uh, which uh, let's say only file path uh, and uh, okay uh, i'll return for example uh, return uh, file received okay and this is my demo fun and uh, this audio will take label uh, input and uh, i think uh, 
in audio section, uh, the source is upload and type is numpy, but I want file path. So my type will be file path. Okay, and my outputs will be gr.components.text uh, box and my label will be let's say transcription okay and i'll do allow flagging to never so we don't see the flag button okay i guess uh, this is it and uh, i'm not sure but let's see here uh, sorry let's see here uh, if we say file path uh, file path then okay so file path passes a string path to a temporary file containing the audio so let's see what we receive here file underscore path and i'll print this okay let me quickly open audacity and i'll record something hello this is raj kapadia and i am recording a video live so this is my audio and i'll export this to let's say uh, wave uh, on my desktop let's say sample uh, instead of my desktop i should go and save it into the folder where i am like i have this everything okay here okay so yeah so the audio is saved now so now uh, we will run this application using uv con uh, run which is my file name and app and i'll say hyphen hyphen reload now uh, in order to run this file i'll say from fast api import fast api i'll say app equals to fast api um, and i'll say app dot get uh that will be my home path and i'll say async def home and i'll return that my gradio app is running at the route uh, gradio and i'll say 200 as well and i'll say app equals to uh, so i need to import uh, gradio as gr as well so what i'll do is that gr has um, a functionality called uh, uh, gr dot i'm not sure i forgot that um, oh i forgot the name of the function which is uh, okay uh, that should be here in one of my oh mount gradio app mount gradio app that will take uh, uh, fast api app the blocks so in our case it is demo and uh, path uh, that's equals to gradio and let me import um uh, from gradio ui import demo so now everything is set let me run this application hopefully this will run without any error and if i go here yeah you can see that gradio application is running on this oh sorry this route so when i come here i'll, I'll paste this okay there are two slash yeah, so this is the application. So when I upload an audio, uh, it is in my, oops, 
uh, speech to text project i can play it mm i'm not sure why i did not i have a sound but it's okay at this point i'll submit that file receive and we can see this is the file path okay this is the file path so now uh, let's go to open ai and here uh, there is a function uh, which we will use i'll copy this i'll paste it here so you provide the uh, file path and get the transcription so let's say def get transcription that will take a file path that will be string and return the transcription which will be string again and uh, my audio file will be uh, my file path as a binary and uh, then let's first print uh, transcript and if we take a look at the output that will be a json object and it will have a key text so transcript text okay uh, get transcription and my audio is uh, sample w a v okay let's um, let me stop this and i'll say uh, python utils.py oh i did not have api key so let me quickly uh, add my api key to this dot uh, env file so i have done that now let's run the oh it says oh and in order to uh, uh, get the variables from dot uh, env file i need to import dot env uh, load dot env and find dot env and i'll say load dot env find dot env now hopefully we'll receive the api key yeah and i think it is making a request and yeah you can see uh, we got the text hello this is raj kaparya and i'm recording live yeah so we will return this now uh, i think the application is complete so we have this get transcription function we'll call it here so from uh, utils import get transcription and i'll provide that uh, here oops yeah so what happens is that when we upload an audio the file path is passed as an input argument to this function and whatever text written from this will be set as output so let me run this and <coughs> let's run the application again so the application is running i'll come here to this gradio let me refresh this i'll select the sample dot wave file i'll submit so it is making a api call and you can see yeah we got the response uh, hello this is uh, raj kapari and i'm recording live and let me very quickly show you one more thing is that uh, we can have two things uh, the source uh, will be microphone so what i'm doing is that uh, if i refresh this now you have two choices either you upload a file or record it from uh, your web browser so when i click here it will ask me to uh, allow the permission i'll do that hello this is raj kapadia recording uh, live youtube video when i hit stop yeah that hello 
this is raj kapadia yeah it is there and now when i submit hopefully oh yeah i'm sorry because when you have two inputs your function must uh, receive uh, two arguments so since the sequence is important as well so this is my first argument so since we haven't uploaded anything uh, it will be null but the microphone has a input so that will be there so uh, i'll say upload and file path i'll say microphone and uh, let's print them both file path upload and file path microphone and since we are using file path microphone let me do that but you can then have if else condition here so now when i come here and when i hit submit hopefully you can see that the file path upload is none but the file path microphone is there yeah we got the response as well so i guess uh, this is it from my side and i'll be pushing the code to github and uh, i'll i'll be providing the link for it in the description of this video and in case you like my work uh, please consider subscribing to my channel that helps uh, thank you for watching peace